Everything you should do here is to try to create incentives to work and incentives for companies to hire. So you had a world in 1980 where something like a third of the world was living below subsistence. And today that number is less than 10% which means there are literally billions of people who are no longer starving, who were starving 30 years ago. And the reason they're doing better is because of technology and globalization. So you have to start there, that these forces have been hugely positive for the world, uh, but they put pressure on the developed countries and particularly the middle class. So what do you do about it? Well, if you have this headwind from technology and globalization, uh, it means that you want to make it very easy and attractive for employers to hire and for people to work. Raising the minimum wage in the face of all this technological change is not a smart thing to do because it's going to reduce uh, employers' desire to hire people. That's more on the low-skilled end, but a lot of people who enter the middle class have to start somewhere, and you often start with entry-level jobs. So that would be one example. Uh, anything that mandates costs on businesses, so mandated leaves, um, some of the things that were in the Affordable Care Act, raise the cost of hiring people, raise the cost of being able to fire people. The Affordable Care Act also created incentives for people not to work because from going from not working to working, they would end up losing some health care under the Affordable Care Act. And again, that everything you should do here is to try to create incentives to work and incentives for companies to hire. So that would be number one, reduce regulations of all kinds, you know, reduce licensing, reduce, you know, make the labor markets more fluid. And I should say what's, what's interesting is over you know, the last several years, the U.S. has become more rigid in its labor markets. Uh, Germany and Spain went in the opposite direction. They're still not as fluid as ours, but they've moved closer to ours. Uh, Macron, who was just elected in France, what is he pledging to do? Make France's labor markets more fluid and less rigid. So uh, given that our other countries are moving in this direction of less regulation and uh, um, really easier or more friendly labor markets, uh, it would be a good idea for the U.S. to do that as well.